Hey what's up and welcome back to this new video. We are still inside the Zeppelin video series and we are back in Zeppelin and you see that it's black, it's dark, it has a dark mode with the latest update which looks awesome. I'm very happy that they gave us the dark mode and now we are able to see our projects inside this dark mode which is especially good for user interfaces which have a uh, like dark uh, color and I'm also using a like uh, Mac OS wide dark mode and also in uh, inside sketch so that's awesome to have those different design programs uh, all in the same uh, look okay so today we want to jump into our dashboard which is basically uh, the tab that is currently open currently active and I want to give you a more precise view of what we can do with the artboards that we imported from sketch and I also want to give you some more ideas uh, of how you can manage your projects okay so inside such a project you can now add also different extensions this is important because it will uh, allow you to add more features into Zeppelin and it's like a community feature because there is a explore extensions tab right here and you see that there is a whole bunch of extensions in this list so uh, for example you can uh, generate swift color and font extensions uh, using this extension right here and i think we already got it uh, inside our project and it means basically that you can say uh, you don't want this extension inside this project but you can enable it for a different project um, so it's not like in general for for your uh, Zeppelin app but it's related to a certain project and um, you can of course as I showed you add more uh, extensions like the CSS extension or HTML extension depending on the project depending on what you want to do um, that's pretty amazing so right now we have a, an iOS project right here that's why Swift is also enabled and if I jump into one of those screens I can show you that um, when I for example click right here I can export the uh, file types for iOS project so that's something I showed you in the previous project now if I click here and I see that there is a bluish gray I see that it's already added to our style guide and we can of course also remove it from the style guide and we can do the same with for example the the color that we have right here or with the white color I can edit hashtag white and if I go back into the dashboard click on style guide I now see that I have white right here and that there is an a color added to the Swift extension so that's pretty amazing that's awesome but when we go back looking at one of those projects right here we see that um, we can do more things than just exporting assets and checking out colors we can of course also check the spacings so if I want to make sure that the icon that is exportable uh, is aligned correctly inside this rectangle, I can uh, select the rectangle and uh, hover over the icon or I can also select the icon and hover over uh, the rectangle and I see all the different spacings um, related to the layer that we are hovering. So if I hover female, like the, the text right here, the subtitle, I get the spacing information between um, our icon and the female sub subtitle and if I uh, select for example the rectangle and I want to make sure that there is a aligned spacing um, in relation to the items below it like those uh, information rectangles right here that are rounded I can see that they have a width of um, of 144 p pt and i can also select this one and see that 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 they have the same width basically and i also see these little dotted lines right here they basically give me information about the alignment um in the in the whole document and i also see that those other rectangles are totally aligned so that's perfect you can also select the text down here and see that the alignment line 
is perfectly in the middle of the texts and rectangles and also uh, perfectly aligned to this icon. That's really something uh, that's impressive. And you can also select text inside your artboard and go over here, which is content. You can either click a uh, little icon right here or go and click inside this field right here on the text and it also copies it to your clipboard. So in case you're working with text styles, which is uh, something I can really recommend, then simply like I have to create one right now. Um, I'm gonna call it headline. And if I uh, now go and export it into our project, super fast. I can now see if I go back into style guide that there is a headline style text style and it was found automatically by Zeppelin. We can add them to the project and now we have them right here which is pretty awesome because it's also adding them to the Swift extension that we enabled or that was enabled by default actually. And all the other colors that you see here uh, can be added to your dashboard. Basically not to the dashboard, but to the style guide. So they are now added to uh, this style guide right here, the color palette. And you can now rename them and can also copy or change the um, values. And it's also automatically changing uh, the extension code that you can simply copy and paste into your Swift project. Now I hope this was helpful to you if you're new to Zeppelin and if you want to if you wanted to know how you can uh, get more information out of Zeppelin and basically what information in general you can get out of it. So it's all about spacings, colors, text styles, basically anything that a developer has to know can be found inside Zeppelin. So all the spacings and if we go back to the style guide all the different um, colors and the text styles can be added and simply copied from the extension that we enabled in the project. So it's totally open. You can download the extensions that you need or that you like. You can try them out and it's giving you so many possibilities as a developer to have a great design handoff and to collaborate with your designer in such a good way. And the next video will be about the designer and developer or designer and product manager collaboration inside Zeppelin. So definitely make sure to watch that, to check that out. Maybe it's already published, but in case you're watching this at the day the video comes out, just wait a week and we will publish it in the next week. So. Um, I'm really looking forward to that. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your time and we we'll see us in the next one. Bye